Welcome. From me, say Motorola Razer 5G, and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So we're gonna begin with the attentive display, which uh, basically allows you to keep the display on whenever you're looking at it. And we'll use the uh, selfie cam right there uh, to check if well, you're looking at the display basically, and if you are, uh, the display won't the dim or uh, basically turn off. And the moment it sees that you're not really looking at it, it will start start the countdown. That is whatever the default timer is set to. Basically, put the device to uh, the screen to sleep, and after that time, it will do so. So to get started, all you need to do is go into the settings. Then let me quickly make the brightness a little bit better. There we go. Uh, display. So it's somewhere on top. There we go. Display. Let's tap on advanced, and in here we should have it. There we go, attentive display. Enable it, let's allow, and uh, let's turn it on, there we go. And now, when you're looking at the device, it will basically know, so it will keep the screen on. Now moving on to the next one, it's gonna be the dark mode. Now by default, the phone actually comes in with the dark mode being enabled, so if you prefer to have it a little bit more light mode, uh, you can go again into the display, and from here you should see dark or dark theme, change it to dark or disable it and it will then basically be in light kind of like the default majority of the other default setups now moving on uh, to the next one it's gonna be the simple Moto app that comes preloaded with basically every Motorola device and in here we have a bunch of uh, different settings so as you can see the attentive display is actually part of it uh, but if we go back there we go into the three bars we have things like personalize so here we can change style so we can change how for instance these icons right here look like so you can change the shapes the fonts and stuff like that you can also create your own team which will allow you to set everything yourself so choose color that you want then the then the border of it grid and name it whatever you want and tap on done from there you can tap on apply as you can see there we go there's also things like wallpapers which is kind of normal uh, the home screen layout and apart from that we also have moto actions so here we have a bunch of different actions that we can do so we have some simple things like flashlight uh, turn on flashlight on or off uh, with two uh, chopping motions so you basically just shake it if I remember correctly uh, let me check it, so... There we go. So you basically shake the device. Now, this might sometimes not be the best option to actually have enabled. Um, sometimes it just launches flashlight by shaking motion or just violent moving of the device. So yeah, keep that in mind. But we have things like, uh, for instance, uh, three finger screenshots as well. Uh, screenshot toolkit, which will just give you a bunch of options for it. Uh, pick up to silence uh, so when you when the phone is for instance ringing because someone is calling you when you pick it up It automatically silences it so you won't need to hear it because well the device knows that it, the phone is in your hand um, So yeah, there's a bunch of uh, fairly convenient settings in here Now there's also a couple different ones like Moto display which just gives you a couple display section settings uh, and uh, Moto game time which is just our game time management app or game management app but moving out of the application itself uh, next thing that I want to show is the sensors off option um, so if you're a type of person that likes your privacy um, and you're for instance not sure if your device is for instance listening to you and uh, talking about for instance someone like Huawei um, unlike why well like Huawei uh, here you actually have the option to disable all the sensors so to do so we we'll need to go into the settings, then about phone, scroll down to build number, you want to tap on that seven times. As you can see, it tells me no need, uh, you're already a developer, uh, but for you, after you tap seven times, it will enable the developer options. And from there, the developer options are located in uh, the system, and right over here. So from the developer options, scroll down to quick settings, developer tiles, and, and here, for some reason it left it, let's try that again.
Well, not sure what's happening here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it seems to be crashing. But in normal circumstances, when it's not doing whatever it is doing right now, when, when you get access to it, at the, the last option there should be sensors off. Simply toggle it on, and when you toggle it on, it will be visible as a first icon in your notification panel. So instead of, for instance, right me, uh, right like me, I have a Wi-Fi. If I would enable it, it would uh, be the first position, and everything would shift position off. Um, and when you enable it, it will basically disable all the sensors, so microphones, cameras, um, completely gone. And if you try to launch any kind of thing like that, so if you launch camera with while well, sensors off are enabled, it just will completely not do anything it will either launch the camera and tell you that some error occurred it will crash uh, or you will have just a black screen of nothingness so that is just completely dependent on how it's designed but uh, when you enable it that's well you don't have a camera to really connect to and also when it comes down to uh, sensors off uh, if you have it on and someone calls you uh, they won't be able to hear you because microphone is one of the sensors so uh, that is gone. Uh, so if someone is calling you, make sure you turn it off. Otherwise, uh, they won't be able to hear anything from you. And moving on to the last option that I wanted to show is just the um, front display, which has a little bit more usability uh, than the previous one or in the previous version. So by default, when you do it the first time, it just gives you this uh, guide, basically slide to the side to launch camera. Uh, let's just tap on next. Slide from the other side to open up apps and also some other stuff it's a dialer contacts basically uh, but with the apps itself if you slide it to the side by default there is not very many apps here so you can tap on manage apps and again there is again not very many of them but if you scroll down there's explore button and in here it takes you to the settings so from here you can uh, check the uh, ultimate so select next okay select the ultimate and go back and then again manage apps and now we have basically all the apps that are installed on your device and from here you can add any kind of app that you want uh, that also includes games so you can basically run full games on here on this display uh, now it might not be the most convenient thing to do but it is there if you want to so whatever you out here will just completely function as though this is basically the main display um, let me find something that would look okay to out here um, I guess let's add Play Store there we go so from here if I tap on the Play Store got it whatever allow uh, don't really want to sign in honestly but as you can see, it just runs normal apps. Uh, things like also YouTube can be normally run through it. Uh, if I actually had internet, let me quickly connect so we can actually have a glimpse at it. So there we go, there is Wi-Fi. Now again, once we launch YouTube, I'm gonna mute it so there is no copyright strike of any sorts. I'm just gonna launch whatever I just launched. Um, but obviously you can see that it's playing. We can skip the ad and there we go. So there is just a normal video playing on the floor of the, the secondary display. Not really sure how to call it. Uh, the small one and it works just as a normal device basically from here the only problem with it is just the navigation it's not a typical android experience when you try to navigate through apps it's kind of limited but once you launch an app the app has full usage uh, as though it's opened on the main display so that would basically sum up all the tweaks and tricks that i wanted to share and if you found them helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.